I call the member for Cessnock. Thank you, Speaker. My, minute, my question is to the Minister for Skills, TAFE and Tertiary Education. Could the Minister please update the House on how the government is helping young people in the regions prepare for the workforce after leaving school? Mm. Minister. Thanks, uh, Mr Speaker. And can I thank the member for Cessnock for his question and for his strong advocacy for TAFE in his areas. And I have noted his request for me to get him into a TAFE that he was denied access to by those opposite when, uh, previously. So, uh, I'm, but I do also, um, I do also wish order. to thank some members other the, really— Members of the government will come to order. I think I, I do want to also members acknowledge. Of the would know I'm speaking to the member for Canterbury when I say that. I do also want to acknowledge some other great advocates for TAFE in this in this building, and I'd encourage all members to attend the inaugural meeting of friend, parliamentary friends of TAFE, which will be held at 12:45 today. I thank the members for Heathcote and Tweed for their, for a group being the co-conveners of that uh, new organisation. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm really excited that recently I've been able to announce the extension of a couple of important projects for, programs for regional students to link with vocational training. Uh, one of those is the Educational Pathways program, which will be extended to an additional 20 schools in regional New South Wales. The Education Pathways program provides additional resources to schools to support students to take up vocational opportunities as part of their schooling. That includes funding school-based apprenticeships, traineeship coordinators and head teachers in careers. And over the past 12 months, this program has seen uh, 1,700 students undertake school-based apprenticeships, a 129 per cent increase from February to October of 2023. Uh, more than 1,000 students re-engage in their education through support and mentoring initiatives, and more than 7,800 students participate in test and try vocational courses with TAFE New South Wales. 1,079 students secured nationally recognised pre-apprenticeship or pre-traineeship credentials. So this is a really important program. I'm pleased to say that some of the schools that it's been extended to include Bega and Maruya High Schools uh, in the Bega electorate, Wilcannia, Baroona and Broken Hill High Schools in, um, in Barwon, uh, and uh, uh, Chatham and Taree High Schools in Mile Lakes uh, and uh, Kempsey, Maxville and Melville in the Oxley electorate. A uh, number of others around the state as well. I've seen some of the results from that program and it was a really important program. I'm also pleased to say that there is, um, that program is currently delivering eight school-based apprenticeships at Cessnock High School and uh, 22 at Curry Curry High School. Uh, so, again, a great program that we are extending to other schools around New South Wales because of its success. We've also, I've also announced recently that uh, the Regional Industries Education Partnership Program will be put on, put on a much sounder footing by funding it for a full three-year uh, program, a $26 million investment over the next three years. Member for Sestock. Not to Let's one of our own. Time and a chance for the minister to wish all the mothers a very happy Mother's Day this coming Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Additional two minutes, Brad. Thanks, uh, Mr. Speaker. And of course, I do uh, extend uh, good wishes to all mothers on Mother's Day. And some of my some of my colleagues have wished their own uh, mothers well because they're watching. I'm not absolutely confident my mum's watching, but uh, <laughs> but if she is, happy <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> but uh, um, the uh, as I was saying, we have uh, extended the Regional Industries Education Partnership Program for another three years. Uh, that is a, a terrific partnership program. And I visited uh, Madura T, actually, in the Member for Tweeds electorate recently and met some students from local schools who'd been doing some work placements with an ad agency and had actually created a digital context for, the, uh, context for Madura T content and marketing, which is going to be used by them. Uh, and 28 of those students are actually going to be doing traineeships with the company later this year. So, again, a terrific outcome out of that program. Of course, fee-free TAFE is also really important for regional New South Wales. And um, uh, again, while I was visiting Ballina Electorate recently, I met a, um, a, a woman who is undertaking a nursing course who used to be a resident of the member for Lismore's electorate. Um, but who unfortunately had to spend the $25,000 that he, she had saved to do a nursing course relocating because her, flood, her home was destroyed in the floods. 
Um, she was able to go and do her nursing course because of the fee-free places that have been made available oh, yeah, by government. Yeah, yeah, and I think right. that is just a terrific story of the way these things can help people to overcome disadvantage, to undertake vo important vocational careers that set them on a path for their future. Uh, as members would be well aware, we've got a big job to rebuild TAFE in New South Wales, particularly over the next few years. Uh, that those opposite um, left it in a very poor state. And uh, I know that many members of the National Party would agree with me that it lost contact with many rural communities. And one of my strong focus is to make sure that we put TAFE back at the heart of our regional communities yeah. and regional training. And we'll be working hard on that over the next few years. Yeah.